What's going on guys? Uh, typical me, it was late at night browsing on Kijiji with my phone and I came across this ad. It just said old computer stuff, $40. It didn't see much in the pictures. I could see some old towers, some old motherboards. I messaged her, she said it's all pre-2000 stuff. That was a loud motorcycle. So it's all pre-2000 stuff. I'm pretty sure I saw some old like Model M keyboards, old towers, old motherboards, old hard drives, CD drives whole bunch of stuff some stuff looked like it was junk some looked like it was going to be a lot of fun so i'm going to get that tonight uh it's about a 40 minute drive and then i will share a uh i guess like a little haul video of everything i got so i just got all the stuff loaded up there's a little bit of it yes my floor is still not done there's the tile though and it's still not done because that leak that we had upstairs really set me back so that got put on pause anyways that's not the point. So that that's some of the stuff. I haven't even gone through this yet. I'm just kind of going to go through it with you guys. I'm just quickly giving you an overview. There's like a monitor, keyboard, more stuff there, more stuff there, more speakers, printers, which aren't worth anything, a box of stuff, some towers, and that's all of it. Yeah. So tons and tons of stuff. All for 40 bucks. These aren't worth anything. I'll just scrap them. But uh, hopefully most of this stuff is in those boxes I see down there. That looks like a AM2, AM3 motherboard but anyways i'm gonna get the um tripod set up and i'll kind of go through each thing all right so the first two things i pulled out of that box should pay for the uh the whole lot of stuff this one is if the camera ever wants to focus uh i think it was a dell one microsoft microsoft trackball mouse it's called a trackball because there's how you move your mouse pointer around you don't like there's no laser, there's no trackball on the inside, so you're not, you know, moving the mouse around like this, just with the ball. Um, this one should get about twenty-five dollars. If you ever find these two guys, um, trackball mice, if they're like a couple bucks, I've, I've never seen one sell for you know un under twenty dollars. Uh, they'll range from fifteen, or I guess maybe real cheap ones, fifteen. We'll say they range from fifteen to like one hundred and twenty dollars. I just recently sold a Logitech one for seventy-five. This one is a. Kingston Orbit. Uh, some of the Kingston trackballs are actually some of the ones that can be $7,500 ones. This one's not. It's very old school. Like there's the hookup. It's not even, you know, USB or um, PS2 port. It's like the old like game kind of hookup. I forget what they call that. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Another trackball one. Uh, the model number on this was HTB114. So it's probably 20 bucks there. So just off those two mice, that's 40 bucks. The next, I thought it was going to be this motherboard, which is a AM3, uh, DDR3. It, it's decent. You could make a entry-level uh, gaming machine with that. But that's not what was in it. What was in it is this. Let's see if I can get a better view on it. There we go. Is this AMD board? Uh, I believe it was a Foxconn. Yeah, right there it says it was a Foxconn. So this is a Foxconn AM2 socket. Uh, I don't see AM2 Plus, so I don't think I'd be able to use some of the other CPUs in there. I'm not going to get into the whole technicalities of that. Definitely DDR2 RAM. Um, I think I found, yeah, there's the model number tucked way down in there. They're hard to find model numbers on some of these because this probably came out of like a, oh, well, there you go. There's an Acer sticker right here. So it would have just come out of a basic Acer like desktop PC. Someone would have bought at a Best Buy or Walmart or wherever. Uh, this probably $20 without looking it up. 30 on the on the high end. Some, well, we'll find out. Some potential Diamond Stealth 60 Radeon 7000. Well, that's not one. What do we got in here? Well, if there is a Radeon 7000 in here, um, that's a good $45, $50 one. It's an old school AGP graphics card. Oh, that looks like PCI. Is that a game controller or an old graphics card? Why would you avoid if removed? Jeez, it's loose, too. I don't know if that's worth anything. There's not even much marking on it. It is a serious logic made in Taiwan. I don't know, some kind of cheap video card. This is definitely a video card. Elite MT. Again, I have no idea what kind of video card that is. Uh, there's a warranty stick. Oh, okay, here we go. Creative Labs model number CT6940. Not that that might mean anything, but I'll try and figure out what kind of 
card this was some sort of video card it's old like there's a agp plug-in for it it's probably for like an old 98 machine are we gonna get lucky with the next one is there gonna be an s60 in here radio 7000 the s means silent Ooh, that looks like it oh all right we got the book getting started is that got all the software and discs yeah that's got all the software and discs all right let's see let's see let's see let's see It is 7,064 megabyte PCI card. That's a PCI card? I thought that would have been AGP. Weird. All right, well, there it is. Awesome graphics card if you want to do a Windows 98 gaming machine um, or some even light XP gaming. Anything past that, I wouldn't recommend it for anything modern. Uh, but that's the actual card with the box. I should be able to get 40 plus for this. Pretty sweet. Put that back in the bag. Fax modem is probably in there. Oh, nope. Hard drive. A Mac store. This is an old hard drive. This is a very old hard drive. More hard drives. Oh, let's get writing on it. Does it say no good? Used? Noisy. Well, if it's noisy, it's probably dying. 40 gigs. That is sad. I know that's old too. Some of these you can just sell for parts. Oh, probably lot alone. Another Mac store. Probably lot a bunch of these up. NetJet. Online gaming system. The hell is a NetJet? By Tiger Electronics. Ah, look at this. Speed straight to an online arcade with tons. Oop, I'm hitting the camera. Sorry. With tons of games, you'll find racing games, blasting games, fast and fun games. Let your finger tights get more. Blah blah blah. Marble Blast, XP, Super Soaker, Cool Carts. These look like <laughs> terrible games. I wonder if this still works. There's no way. I guarantee there's no internet server up for this. Because it looks like you're supposed to log online. It's factory sealed, though. That's kind of neat. It looks sort of like a Xbox controller missing a thumbstick. Game controller replaces keyboard. Bubble Bonanza. Oh, maybe that's where you plug the games in. That's the Bubble Bonanza game. So do you have to, like, buy more games? I don't know. Maybe I'll do an unboxing and opening that thing or something. What a weird... NetJet. Never heard of it. Tiger Electronics. I've heard of Tiger Electronics. And another hard drive. 160 gig. Is that modern? Oh yeah, there's modern. SATA. There's something you want to look for for somewhat modern tech on motherboards and hard drives if you're looking to pick that stuff up. 160 gig. I like that. It's like a $10 max hard drive. Max. $10. Back in the day, it was 74. Jeez. That, oh, well, this one's not even 250 gig. $74 for 250 gig hard drive. That, nowadays, like, that's almost the cost of a 2 terabyte new. That's crazy. Anyways, hard drive, it's 5 bucks. What do we got here? I wonder if this is actually what's in here. Super CD-ROM drive. This has to be old. Like, old, old. I'm going to guess it's beige in color, too. What do you guys think? I'm totally going to guess beige in color. Let's see. Oh, wow, it's like... I don't think it's ever been used. Oh, yeah. Totally that white kind of... This thing's never been used. Um, normally, these aren't worth a whole ton because this one's never been used. Anyone who has an old PC or some of those old tech channels, they kind of pay up a little bit for these things just to have it in the box. Well, I mean, maybe it has been used, but it looks pretty unused. So, I don't know. We'll call that $20. Keyboard, keyboard. Hey, a keyboard. Microsoft. Complete inbox. Um model number a13 that's nothing amazing either uh, it's got the box I'll probably 1520 on that keyboard and then there was I thought it was gonna be a model M keyboard I got so excited it's not a model M it's still an old IBM it's a model KB88 if it's even gonna focus KB8823 and it's got a broken hinge on that side. If it was a Model M, for any of you guys looking, there would be a huge, like there'll be a blue M here. There's a couple different Model M's, but if you have a Model M keyboard, depending on the exact model or variant of the Model M keyboard, it's anywhere from 100 to $175. This one, with a PS2 port on it, yeah, PS2 port. Probably still in the $40 range. It's really dirty, though. I'll have to clean it up. Like, not nice looking at all. 
it's all dirty and grimy in the keys so I'll clean it up AC cooling fan voltage 60 Hertz rpm 3100 rpm what the hell is an AC cooling fan sound level 38 decibels Use this cooling fan to prolong the life and stabilize the operation of electronic equipment. Can also be used as a venting fan. Or is it just moving air? That's heavy. That ha like look at the. That's really thick. And heavy. Like that's a s solid steel. Okay, the fan spins that way. There's zero. That is a solid steel connection. Like so's the fan. The fan blades in here are all everything steel on this cooling fan. Does it have okay just a positive and negative wire hookup I have no idea what that's worth what the heck next tech cooling fan never seen one never played with one interested though what we got here oh, some original DDR 256 sticks is that kinks okay bite never heard of them 256 sticks like 256 gig each PC 133 it's so slow by today's standards again Windows 98 machine 250 no 512 is the max you can run so 26 uh, 256 would be awesome for a 98 machine I already built my Windows 98 machine so that's you know I'll either throw that in with a big RAM lot what I'll do with RAM is either just tons of it like because I get so much of it I'll do big lots of 20 30 of them um, or I'll use them to trade for other people looking for stuff or you know these ones are sealed I'll, I'll probably sell these ones separately you know 10 bucks like three dollars shipping because it'll go in an envelope as letter mail what do we got in here Wi-Fi 2.4 gig Wi-Fi card. It's got. There's no way that will work. Probably not. I don't know if you can. The camera's picking that up, but the teeth or the fingers are really screwed up right there. Wireless card though. What's this then? The Ethernet card. Yep. Ethernet. ACT 10 and 100 megabyte a second connection. So that's old. That's really old you could probably use that no not even well maybe maybe for like a LAN setup if you want to do some old LAN parties with some old gaming rigs some of this stuff like all those old wireless cards they will get put in a giant lot and just sold for cheap Logitech game controller kinda cool I don't know five ten bucks we got old superior computer mouse again five ten bucks people do buy these old mice for their old computers is that a Logitech D E X X A. Never heard of it. Dexa. Another mouse. I don't know. 10, 15 bucks total there. Oh, says good on it. 460 watt power supply. Cool Master. Cooler Master. It's a good company. If you ever see anything Cooler Master? This is a old power supply. I wonder if it has that funky. It does too. Um, single six pin. This is good for an old build. I got an old. Um, AMD, oh god, what was it? A3 or whatever they call it, like old school for Windows 95. That I was going to do a build, and I don't have a good power supply. That is a perfect power supply, 460 watt. You could even use that on a modern system. It's not going to push any heavy duty graphics cards. Um, I mean, even to sell this 460 in the box, yeah, easy, 30 bucks maybe. I should probably keep that with it. More mice, Logitech mouse with the wireless receiver I saw on there. And just. I'll point the camera over here so you can kind of see. Oh, we got another box with something in it. Oh, just a modem card. So if I swing this around, woo! That's what's left in there. There's like a couple more PC fans, just random like serial port wires, manuals. That feels like an empty box. That'd be cool. I could use a PCI sound card, but it's it's an empty box with the software. Screwdriver set, empty, oh, empty link box. What do we got in here? Hey, look at that. Getting surprised. It was a TP link, which is like just wireless. And we got, oh, jeez, we got a video card with a seized fan. Listen to it. That's me turning it by hand. What is it? It is a BFG 84 512 gig or 512 meg. 
NVIDIA BFG84. Hmm. There it is. Probably pooched because the fans pooched. I don't know if this person was smart enough. Well, we'll, we'll clean it off. See if we can get a new fan on there. Maybe it'll work. Anyways, the rest in here just looks like sort of manuals and junk. Uh, oh, I see a keyboard. What is this? <laughs> you guys remember these? There's a dust cover. There's a monitor cover. Old monitor. I'll include this with the monitor that I'm going to sell. And a keyboard cover. All the covers probably just sell it in a lot for covers, or, you know, maybe I'll use it. Keep my old 98 machine covered. Keep the sun off it. Oh, we got a ladder. Card in here. Oh, just another. Ethernet card. Nothing exciting there. Model M, Model M. Damn it. It is a very yellowed and stained Packard Bell. Before it was even called Bell. Packard Bell keyboard. I don't know. These are hit or miss. Anywhere from $20, $20, $20 and up, we'll call it. Very yellow though. That'll be a good retro bright project. In there. What else we got in here? What else? What else? Cereal? <laughs> a compact gender changer. All the uh, gender neutral people or whatever in this world nowadays. Do you, do you guys need that? Just a quick compact gender changer? Oh my god, I'm gonna get myself in trouble. A gross mouse pad that go right in the garbage. A bell accessory kit. More modems, probably. Wireless modems. Hey, that's a sound card. Uh, hey, a Wi Fi card with the antenna. Oh my god, 54 megabytes a second. A useless Wi Fi card. No one, no one does that. Jeez, I'm running on a gig. Hey, a Sound Blaster Live. Awesome. I needed a new sound card. Got a Sound Blaster Live here. A. -A SBO 100, Creative Lab, Sound Blaster Live. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Tad CD in, auxiliary in, CD spitif. So I bet you that's a 35 to $40 sound card if it works. If, if not more. More ribbon cables. No one cares about ribbon cables. SATA cable. Yeah, they're always handy to have. I keep a couple SATA cables kicking around. What do we got here? I photo pics. Ugh. What do you think? Is there some adult video stuff on there? Never know. Almost every computer I get, I find porn on though. Uh, old cost coast PC speakers. Nothing amazing. Ten bucks, five bucks. Somebody will want it because it matches their old retro PC. Same as the old Logitech mouse, the old Acer mouse. You know, your five, ten bucks. Power supply. That's always handy to have. Another serial cable. An S video cable and another SATA cable and silica pack. Uh, oh, this shit never gets lighter. Oh my god. Okay, it's disgusting. Oh, I didn't even like it touching me. It's disgusting, but back this up. There you go. It is a Hewlett Packard or HP Ultra VGA 1280. Pretty neat. It's the old school one, right? It's got the big, thick ass back to it. Let's see if we can find an actual model number on it. Model number. Ooh, bring that down. Sorry, guys. Model number D2818A. I'll probably get about 75 for this shipped. That's a nice little. VGA monitor. They are a pain to ship. If you guys ever want to get into shipping these uh, quickly, double box them. Styrofoam on every side so you can't get impacts on the sides. Plus wrap them in bubble wrap. That's about it, right? Do not turn upside down or this side up because you don't really want to get twisted all sorts of different directions. And I just noticed it looks like someone like threw up on this computer and it's sitting in there it might not even work it's gross it's really really gross but anyways yeah double box them lots of bubble wrap lots of styrofoam make sure they don't get turned around a bunch um and you should be safe should be i have had issues before all right i had to change camera space because there was just uh no no room on the counter now that i've exploded my kitchen with freaking pc parts oh my wife's gonna kill me one of these days for all this stuff <laughs> all right <laughs> Next is some dirty Zoltri X Sound ZX75 speakers. Um, P3 
PC speakers are hit or miss. I haven't even looked these up. 10 to 30 bucks. That's just my guess. I know it's a wide range, but that's my guess. This Logitech speaker system, that's the sub. And then there's four speakers that can mount to a wall. Um, this should bring about $75, this set here. It's a nice Altec Lansing surround sound system. Like I said, four computers. It should do good. should do very good. We got this beauty. Missing a CD drive in the front. It's got the most yellow DVD drive I've ever seen. Doesn't really want to focus, but missing a CD drive on the front. Um... Well, if this is a pre-built, yeah, it's probably a pre-built, like an old superior computer back in the day around here building computers. Anyways, let's, uh, oh, goodness. Open it up. Oh, I see loose RAM. See what's in here. I'm not going to be able to see anything because it's too goddamn dark. So, let me get a light. Hey, we got a nice uh, braided power supply in here. What kind of RAM is this? <laughs> Some super talent RAM. One gig? One gig, uh, probably DDR2, sure. how old the system looks. Yeah, definitely DDR2. I see a Pro 2000, so that's like a, it's gonna be an AM2 socket then with a two gigahertz single or dual core, I'm not sure, it could be either or. Motherboard is a Elite, is that what it is? A K7SOM, that's not a bad motherboard. Uh, be a good little Windows XP build. Nice power supply with braided lines. Looks like we got a that DVD drive, a hard drive not hooked up, and a Mac store hooked up. I'm not sure the size. There's a video card here too. I wonder what that video card is. There's the two hard drives. There's that video card. Check it out. It is a FX 5200 GeForce FX 5200. Oh, the fan doesn't feel sealed. Um, 5200, that's not a bad card for back in the day. Again, you wouldn't want to be running that nowadays. Let's uh, open up the next PC and see what we're dealing with. Here is the next one. USB. And headphone, microphone. Some DVD rommage. And what was the other one, just a CD? Yeah, 52, 32, 52. Rewritable CD and DVD ROM. It is yellowed. What do we got on the back here? No. Oh, yeah, maybe. We got a little video card there. Serial port. Game ports. Headphone, microphone. Um, what else? I don't know what the other one is. Can't think today. PS2 ports, USB. Definitely probably USB 1.0. Old superior computer. Yep. So let's open this son of a bitch up. 350 watt power supply. That's an old school power supply. Seagate Barracuda. This is an old one. Uh, 80 gig. What is that graphics card? A GeForce MX400. Hey, this probably has Windows 98 then. MX400 is actually a really decent 98 gaming board. Intel CPU, MSI motherboard. No idea. Well, we'll guess find out how much RAM it has in it. That'll give us a bit of a hint as to the operating system. Probably just 256, right? 512. 512 gig of HP RAM. MX400. I wonder. Oh, these come off easy. Why not? Let's find out. What do you guys think? I'm going to say for the CPU, it's a Intel Pentium 4. Uh, 512 RAM, uh, 1.8 gigahertz, Pentium 4. Jesus, it's hard to do while holding the light. All right, hold on, guys. Maybe we can just stick the light in here. Does that work, or are we just making a bunch of shadow now? Let's see. That looks terrible, but whatever. We'll pop this off first. Oops. This is so much harder to do with it standing up. There we go. God, that fought me the whole way. Normally those come off a lot easier. Uh, some old ass thermal paste. It is a 478 socket, so it's definitely a Intel Pentium. 
Now let's just get this little staticky microfiber that we shouldn't use and see what it was. Oh, that's really burnt down there. Ah, it's a 1.7. I was close. What did I say? I say 1.8. I don't. That be. Uh, I feel like it's not an XP because like an MX 400 and 1.7 gig and 512 RAM for an XP seems not right. Like you could bump this up. You could totally put like a three gigahertz uh, Pentium 4 in there and like is that PCI or AGP? AGP. So you could get a better AGP card and have a bit of a 98 or I mean a XP gaming machine, but not quite. It'll be fun. I don't know. It'll be fun to turn these on and see what kind of operating system, if any, is on here. That's, uh, like I said, that's it. That's everything I got. As you see, there's a mess all around me now from all this stuff. So I'm going to spend a lot of time going through this all, looking up prices, listing what's already clean, but mostly cleaning a lot of this stuff. It stunk. Her house was really, really gross. Um, so I'm going to spend a lot of time cleaning this all up, seeing what I'm going to use, seeing what I'm going to sell. I'll sell a bunch of it, you know, to help pay for the hobby. Some of it I'll use. It'll be fun with those two computers to clean them up, see what operating systems on there. I'll probably make one a Windows 98, that old e-machines one from Superior Computers. And uh, the other, I don't know, probably a XP machine just because of what was in it. Anyways, that'll be fun kind of projects for later on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.